this podcast absolutely, unequivocally, positively, 100% contains adult material. Mature audiences only, please. Hey, welcome back to Me and Mrs. Always Right. We are the ADHD of podcasting. Yes, and we are also voted number one from people who like to drink water from elephant dung. <laughs> Bear Grills? Guess you're the guy. <laughs> what the? What the? Hey, it's so hot now. You need your water anyway you no. can get it. Oh my. <laughs> Didn't know that was coming. Good job, babe. Hey, and we're coming to you today from that little trailer park in Lawn, Texas. Why? Because it's dead. <laughs> and nothing lives in this fucking house, apparently. I'm telling you, because it's just so fucking hot. And there ain't no water for it. It's it's terrible. I had to dress to match my beer today. Oh, look See? at you. You're all fancy. I'm not at all. Mm-mm. Do we cover everything? Hey, welcome to the podcast. We're the uh, ADHD. Well, you said something I about mean, elephant you're, shit. And... You're, you're who? Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm your host, <laughs> me. See, that's what I was... God. <laughs> and I miss as always, right? No wonder why we only have three people listening. I know. <laughs> fucking dumb. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I wanted to talk to you today. Oh, God. No, no, mine's not like a serious issue, okay? Mm-mm. No, serious. You can't be serious. Yeah. Shirley, I want to talk you can't about. Be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> you know that movie. I do. Um, coming up, right? Things are so much different now. We're a little older. I'm 24. You're 30. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll, I'll go with 30. Would you? I don't even go with 35 or 40. Do you remember? Do Do we remember things being so dramatically different? Yes. Because we were kids. Yes. Because it's hot. Yes. Number one, I'm going to start. There's so much things we can go through, but I'm going to start with how fucking hot it is. And I just don't remember. We, I've, I've lived in Texas my entire life. Mm-hmm. It's always been fucking hot. Always. Right? I, I mean, just we've don't had... remember it. I ran around outside in the fucking summer barefooted through sticker patches, you know, and I just I don't ever remember it being that fucking hot. You know, I think you're able to take the heat and produce. Not produce. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, what is the word I'm looking for? Project, produce. No, not even. It probably doesn't even start equip, with a P. Equip. Equip. You're you're equipped to handle it better. That's ooze, for sure. Ooze, I remember. Drip. What? Ooze or drip? Ew! Ew! <laughs> <laughs> so gross. But I remember being a kid. And probably, I don't know, between the age of, I would probably say 12 or something like that. I, and I know that we've had 100 degree weather. I Can could I have been even nine, 10 or 9. But... Oh, okay. Well, it sounds more weirder coming from, you know, asking you at 12. Did you have boobs then? I don't know. When did you hit puberty? Three? I think I was six. I mean, because you were pregnant know. at five. So. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Yes. So you remember being 12. Yes. Uh, I mean, I could have been 10. You know, I'm just saying I was, I was probably between the age of nine and 13. Sure. And I remember uh, the local swimming pool being open and we always had to walk there. Right. Okay. Because it's too hot and my daddy's not getting out to take us. So we had to walk. And I remember walking barefoot mind Word. you no i remember that too and the street was so hot that the black tar that they put in there would just yeah. move and ooze and we would like poke our toes in it just to make it we move would hop. and stuff so legitimately legitimately i grew up in a fucking trailer park okay <laughs> and and i kind of we, we kind of got ripped off being trailer park people to a de- to a degree why well growing up we 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 had lived okay. All right. Let me let me start this over so it don't sound so stuttery and shit. Okay. When we first moved up to the area we lived in, we moved into an apartment. Okay. And my mom at the time was, oh, you know, I don't want to be in an apartment. So she buys us a house. Oh, okay. She forgot to mention it was on wheels. Hey, it it's called a trailer house. It's fine. Right. So I we moved it. in we moved into this new addition to this trailer park. Okay. What we didn't know at the time, they had said that this, so this new addition was supposed to be part of this originally existing trailer park mm-hmm. that held, had all these amenities, swimming pool, basketball court, playground. Well, something happened with that merger and it didn't go through. 
And then all of a sudden, the hoodlum kids from the east side of the trailer park weren't allowed to hang out with the west side kids. And what? The, oh, yeah. So they banned us from their pool and all that. And we didn't have a pool at the time. So they put in this rinky-dink, kidney-shaped pool that was probably no bigger than this studio. But I swam in that motherfucker every day. Oh, and you know how many went- times, man, we would sneak up to the fucking high-end trailer park and go swimming? We didn't, we didn't have to sneak. We got a pool pass every year. Now, back then, like I said, it was a community pool. You know, you had to walk there to get there. But, I mean, I, I remember when I was a, l- a lot smaller taking swim lessons from there, right? Okay. And they had a shallow end. They had a slide, a couple of diving boards, a what? high dive, a low dive. Man, y'all had it made. Uh, it was a nice pool. Our pool was at where you couldn't even, like, the deep end wasn't above your knees. Oh, oh, yeah. It was kind of, now that I think about it, if you're looking at it a certain way, and they have uh, lots of shade trees around, picnic tables, stuff like that. It was a nice place, but it was kind of shaped like an L, and the the lower part was of it on the their L, forehead? yes, the lower part of the L was the shallow end where they did, uh, you know, the swim lessons and stuff like that, and then you had this part of the L, the the end of it. The corner that like a lot, a lot of people hung out, but the slide was over there too, so you could only hang out so much. And then the diving boards over here, and man, we went every day. We we could buy a pass. I think it was like seven dollars for all summer long, and we could go every day. <laughs> God I damn! Know. I mean, it might have even been five. It was it was pretty fucking cheap. But we I know you're every- a little older. Did you carve your own currency or? Yeah, I mean, we had to carry rocks, really, but, you know. Yeah. No, I just don't, you know, now, you know, being 24, uh-huh. I'm just like, fuck going outside. Yeah. I've come accustomed to the air conditioner, but our generation, and, and you are slightly older, our generation- By six minutes. So, ish. New life before all the technology, but we've grown with the technology. My parents' okay. generation- First, let me just butt in and say, okay, most I of us, not, most of us, because you all remind me quite often. I remember when we met, you still had a flip phone. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, and I didn't have a flip yeah. phone when we first met. It was that Nokia, the long one. That oh, was about that you were still, you were still texting a a a a five 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 four four three two four four four. Oh yes. my god! Yes, I mean, I did that forever up till what? I think your mom ago. still texts like that, don't she? <laughs> she probably does. Predictive text on probably, the phone. Probably, because she really does still have a flip phone. But I remember after we got together, I got a flip phone. Oh, but it was God. still texting a uh, 111-777-555-44, you know, whatever. It was still texting like that. And, it and, wasn't like what it is now. And now I know that you had a mini bike i had a mini bike growing up right did you just snort <laughs> i did that's almost like that time i whistled without whistling <laughs> when uh, doing the podcast you really? remember yeah you know, i'm like i mean i might i don't have to anyway and anyway anyway and you had a mini bike i had a mini bike mine i think was a little bit higher in than yours because i actually Probably. had three speeds on it but no clutch oh we didn't have any speeds Except for run, run, <laughs> run. And every How'd time we go? rode it, I mean, you know, every time we rode it, we did that to make people think we were changing gears like we were, <laughs> like we were on a real bike. Oh. I mean, anybody over probably the age of 15 or 16. I can just, knew I can just imagine myself not. now looking out the window and seeing some little <laughs> kid go about a mini bike going, <laughs> run, run. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because you did that, didn't you? <laughs> we did that all what, the time. What the fuck? <laughs> we wanted to be cool. And I just, I don't think, <laughs> I think you had it a little better than I did, because I think your parents actually cared about you, uh, right? My parents cared that I came home at night. That, you that's know, that where... Was- that was about that it. That was the extent of it for me too. You're, yeah. you're, man. We 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 went got everywhere. up in the morning, and you know, I I mean, I remember having breakfast, uh, like let's say during the summer, but maybe not every day. I got up and we went outside. You know, we grab a piece of bread and a weenie or a piece of bologna, and off we'd go, and we'd be gone all day long. 
I'm going to open my beer with the new <gasps> Roadcat Media what? bottle openers Look at that. that you can get if you come see us in Austin. Yeah. On August the 25th. 20- yeah. Anyway. Oh, it didn't it didn't make yeah, it. It don't have the same paw. trademark sound, but you know. Oh, I just okay. wanted to use the new and improved <laughs> Roadcat Media bottle opener. <laughs> no product placement on this podcast. No, not None. at all. Not at all. No, we went we went everywhere. We didn't ask permission to go anywhere. Well, you didn't really had to ha- you, you didn't you know have what to I have had to be? It. You know what I had to be? A- alive when you came home at night. Home when the street lights came on. Oh yeah. No, yeah. I mean, and that's so cliche now, but it it seriously was the truth. That, yes, yes, we would get up, and we knew that the pool opened like at ten o'clock or eleven, and we would go as soon as it opened up, and we would spend all day long till they closed. I don't even remember what time they closed. Probably six, you know, every day or whatever. We went. And now you can't let you can't let a fucking teenager out on their own now. Hell no! I shit mean, shit is so different. But that's what I'm trying to figure out. Is it really different? I, I or, think it's just we, more. Are we aware? Just, we're more right. aware of it, really, because there's always been serial killers. There's right. always been kidnappers. Right. You know, but I feel. And back then we got kidnapped in shitty ass fucking pintos and shit. Not this air conditioned fucking trunk and stuff. You These know, kids I got it fucking made. Yeah, I. I, I really do think that more people tend to do bad things versus then only because of the legal system. And back or, then, people would take justice into their own hands I mean, that's a true. lot more than they do now. Do are, are people committing more crimes or is it the media, the Facebook, the social, the social media? Are we just seeing much more of the bad side of humanity? I, th- I that, think we are seeing a lot more of it. But I think it's been the same in rel- in relation to Maybe. the population, right? Maybe. We just, we're more aware of it now because we have computers in our hands. Yes. Yes. So what happens miles and miles away, we almost instantly, we can see oh, that yeah. something bad happened. You know that before, I remember? No. My middle school that I went to uh-huh. was a fallout shelter. Right. Being annihilated by the Soviet Union was a fucking real thing growing up. Right. You oh, you yes. always had it in the back of your mind that we were on the we were like and an empty desk? beer can, an empty beer can <laughs> fucking away from people launching fucking nuclear weapons. Right. And, and the desk or the hallway was going to say what you. the fuck was that going to do? <laughs> nothing. No, seriously. Absolutely you're, nothing. You're, 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 you're straight. Right. Because we were trained to get under the desk. Yeah. Hey, here comes a 50. Megaton nuclear warhead. Yes. Get under the desk. We, we didn't know any better. I don't know. You know, and well, it we gave didn't. them something to tell us to make it feel like so we, felt we were safe. being safe. Yes. 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 Because they didn't want to look us in our eyes and tell us, yeah, you're going to be incinerated you're, instantly, you're pretty die. much. <laughs> you bitch, you going to die. It's that simple. And I remember that, right? I, I remember. Oh, yeah, we did. And we, we practiced it. I a know. Lot. There was a lot of things which I feel they should. Bring back like the Pledge of Allegiance. They do not do that in no, school some schools, anymore. Some do, really. Yeah, some do. Well, I wished all of them did because that has nothing to do with you're I'm, here in America. You, you see what I mean? Well, I'm not trying to like change the subject because I don't like diving into political I, stuff. I, I know, but I know. you bring up the Pledge of Allegiance. I do feel around the time that the Soviet Union fell. Mm-hmm. We no longer had an enemy to worry about, so we just started infighting amongst ourselves. Yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right. But you're always right. You're so shut smart. Shut the fuck up. You're so smart. You watch so much stuff. I do what anybody can do. Hey, YouTube. Let me watch a documentary. <laughs> it's just the stuff I'm interested in. Yes, history, all kinds yeah. of sciencey stuff, and the. The events I remember in my childhood Mm -hmm. that stick out to me Mm -hmm. are the space shuttle blowing up in 86. Mm -hmm. Um, What was that girl's name that fell down the well? Amber. I I know. Jessica McClure. Yes. Right? She fell down the well and was stuck in there for days. I do remember Amber Amber. Hagerman. Okay. She lived. Actually, all that happened less than a mile away from our, my old house. Now, you know what? Not to not oh, to you're say t- you're anything. hijacking it. Go ahead. I I am, but <clears throat> since she, unfortunately, I feel since she's never been found, 
they were building a lot of houses back then and I not in that neighborhood they weren't. I don't know I don't know whatever happened. Not, but not far from there. But anyway, moving uh, yeah. on. <laughs> so and I, then I remember the Berlin Wall falling. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember I don't know if it's just my memory, but I don't remember I I, I think after the Berlin Wall fell, and that was like ninety one. The next big, the next craze was Y two K. We were all gonna die because oh, the computers yeah. were gonna fucking flip out and go all Skynet now, on us. Now did you uh did you prep? For no. the Y two K, fuck no, no. I look forward to that shit. I'm like, bring it on. Really? Sorta. Out. See, we. Now, I wouldn't no, say we didn't. prepped. No, you didn't. But I did. I did go out and buy. You know, rice because, and beans. Yes, and flour and sugar. Because if something happened, you're worse than the fucking toilet people during COVID. I did not buy. I. You know what? I don't even think I bought toilet paper at all. I remember motherfuckers in their station wagon, back wall to front seat, rolls of fucking toilet paper. That uh, minivan's full. You couldn't see anything but the driver just barely because they're all, you know, the toilet paper's all around. What the fuck did toilet paper have to do with COVID? I don't fucking know. Wipe your ass. I don't know. I I just, I don't know. We're going to be stuck in the house for three weeks. Let's make sure we can wipe our ass. Well, Every day for the next three fucking seconds. My thing is, you got a shower, you got a washcloth, you know, I mean, there's can, ways around can, it. Paper towels. You can do the ruffle stomp. The what? The ruffle stomp. Shit in the bathtub and stomp it down the fucking... <laughs> Ew, don't you dare shit in my bathtub. Uh, baby, uh, sometimes my shit's too runny to do that. It, it would be like a brown water sprinkler. <laughs> oh, it'd be horrible. Oh, you're so gross. Yeah, but I just, you know, I don't know if we just didn't care back then. I just don't think we... I don't think anybody don't think cared about anything. I cared a whole lot back then as far as weather and all that. I really don't or, think that of, we did. You know... Because we we're kids, we don't why we our, don't worry about the future. We don't worry about what's going on in the world. We're kids. We're well. I mean, I you know, we, baseball, football, swimming. Oh, I did have fun in little league. Little league was fun. I got See, to play three seasons. We um we used to go. We we didn't live far from the swimming pool, and we didn't live far from elementary school, which had you know big fields to play on and stuff. And we would go play baseball football, whatever, until they mowed down the house next to us. Oh, yeah. You know, and then it was a big field open right there, and we played that right there. That was your sand lot. Yeah. Now, we did have a church across the street that had a big parking lot and everything, so we had a church parking lot with picnic tables and all that stuff that we played ball and everything at as well, or we would go right next door to the house and play right there. So we didn't have to go far unless we were going swimming, with, which was a few blocks away. I, I think our generation doesn't have any feelings. It's, just, it's because of that, right? We were, you know, if we were worried that we were going to die at any minute from all the shit going on around us, we would have got nothing done. So we just oh, had to true. eliminate, we just had true. to eliminate caring about shit from our personal lives and, mm-hmm. and do what we had to do. We uh, we also now we did a lot of stuff during the summer, Who's right? We? I, it, me and my friends and and my summers SOB. were a good time until I had to fucking start working. <clears throat> we had um not far from where we lived, big open field, right? And the railroad tracks were right not far from there too. And we would be walking down the railroad tracks and walking in these big fields. It was like one big field that spanned quite a distance. Now it's full of houses. But they had, we come across a uh, shelter, like a a bomb. Homeless shelter? Like a bomb shelter or whatever in the ground. And we would go down there like we own the fucking place. Oh, my God, babe. We built a fucking fort in the woods out of fucking pallets. And that was the, we hung out in that fucking pallet fort one whole fucking summer. That was the place to go. Wow. Man, the stupid shit we fucking did. Oh, yeah. We We went swimming where I I grew up. There was old gravel pits down the road. And, you know, the old gravel pits filled up with water. We went swimming in that shit. Ew. And we, babe, we didn't give a fuck. When you're kids, you're It's basically a lake. What's ooh about gravel pits? I, I didn't say I we went know. swimming in the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, I found a tampon. <laughs> yeah. 
I, I mean, l- let me just mention now, we didn't always go to the swimming pool to go swimming because my yeah my family has always had some sort of lake property. Oh, you were rich. No, my daddy just liked fishing a lot. Is that what it is? Yes. So we've always had lake property. So I I remember during the summer, we would go down there, you know, a couple of weeks out of the summer, maybe three weeks or whatever, and stay. And we went swimming every day. Every Every day. day. Every day. Every day. We would get up. We would go swimming. The only time we had to come home, which in the slough that we lived on, you know, where, what? Slough? Yeah. Is that heard? Is it's a it? word. Is it? It is. I thought that's where they sent the cattle down to be killed, was down the slough? Canal. I don't know what you want me to call it. It's uh, it's a word. Creek? No, a <laughs> creek is something totally different. Uh, I got some Googling to do. Keep going. Yeah, you do. So anyway, where the lake property we had was right there on the canal. <laughs> <laughs> and our... <laughs> Joke. He's gonna spew, Mom. He's gonna <laughs> spew. <laughs> just talk to me like a fucking stupid. <laughs> well, well never when heard, I said slew, never heard you're slew? like, know what a divan is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or it's furniture. Furniture. <laughs> furniture. Furniture, bitch. Okay, whatever. So we would get up. We had a couple of docks right there. I know and what a dock would, is. Okay. Okay. We would get up and we would jump off this dock. I mean, literally, it was probably less than, well, probably from where we're sitting here to the wall right there away. That's how close it so was. So you would have, you would say 20 feet. Maybe. You have to remember some people listen to this on audio and they don't know what the <laughs> fuck you're pointing to. Okay. So, so 20 feet away from the door we walked out of the place we were staying. To was, the dock. What Was the dock. And we would all show, all all show, show. All right, who can't fucking talk now? <laughs> yeah. Also, See, for saying, the guy. Saying all them fucking big words and then got you fucked up. Slew. Slew. Yeah. So we would also uh, catch perch off, uh, not off the first dock because that's normally where we swam, but off the second dock. No, you don't want to contaminate the fish. I know, because the guy, a uh, couple of houses down, actually used them for for you know bait and we would catch them for him because hell we're kids yeah. we ain't got nothing fucking better t- to do texas department of wildlife and the fucking bag limit <laughs> maybe, catch that's, them all. maybe that's why he had us do it i don't <laughs> yeah, know that, i don't think you the, had to have blame it on the yes you've always had to have a fishing license and a bag limit but, for but, perch for yeah but when, ass perch? But, but when they're minors catching them you're like hey they don't know what are they gonna do a question yeah, maybe, maybe. put you in federal I mean, penitentiary nobody ever come down there anyway because you know there was Nothing. Oh, okay. Oh. So now before my dad my daddy built on, right? But we didn't really have a big bathroom or, you know, one that they'd probably even let us use, I think. <laughs> so but we had a bathhouse at the end of the canal. <laughs> so <laughs> it was like a big bathhouse. It was bent on one a side. Communal? Yes, men on one side, women on the other. It had showers. It had uh, yeah, toilets. Y- y'all went to a communal outhouse? I, when you got to poop or something, yeah, you got to go. It doesn't matter what uh, time of day or night it is. You got to go up there. You country. Well, yeah, yeah. And we did the last a time I shit in a hole. The last time I shit in a hole was it when we were at the crossbar. It was actually water in the toilets. Oh, real water you in were the rich. Toilets, you know, I mean... I'm pretty sure it was just water coming straight from the the lake because it sh- smelt like lake when you walked in there and when uh, you take in a shower it smelt like lake. But what it smelled like when you took a shit? When you flush the toilet, it smelt like somebody took a shit so in the you, lake. You... <laughs> <laughs> I walked into that one. You're, yeah, good one. Yeah. Good one. Thanks, honey. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, Sorry. Uh, no, no, okay. that's perfect. Don't okay, don't apologize good. for that. Good, good, good. Quit the fucking smacking though. Uh, my mouth Can you not? Mouth Babe, don't no, we're almost done. Don't don't drink it. <laughs> She's gonna spew now. No, not me, not me. 
So, okay, you went to the communal outhouse. Yes. Every day while we were down at the lake. Every day. Because we went swimming every day. Ooh, and we did find this huge, it had to be a 55-gallon drum. You've told this story. Okay. The one about in the middle of the lake, and you swim out there to it, and you all got cut up on it. Yeah, and we'd stand up on it. Like, look at In the us. next few minutes we have, talking yes. about growing up. Okay. I want to hear how your daddy built a house around a bus. Okay. Well, it wasn't just a bus because there was a travel trailer. It was like an Airstream, <laughs> so right? So it gets better. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, So great. we had two because it was more than what my, my daddy ain't buying one lake lot because it ain't big enough for him, right? Ooh, so he bought. Um, oh, you know what? Not what? only did we have the canal right <laughs> in front of us. <laughs> like oh. beside us oh uh, funny story you're not even gonna we'll talk about daddy building next sure, time sure so uh next to us also was like a little kind of like a slough or whatever right yes it was very slew. grown over okay. right it had a lot of cattails and all that stuff growing in it was it, a right? grown up slough yes so that's where my daddy would go Gigging for frogs, right? Oh, yeah? Yes, he loved frog legs. I personally have never had them, but been told they taste like chicken. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I'm on an airplane. <laughs> you never had frog legs? No, I never have. Have you? No. Okay, then. Shut up. You're Bitch. only six minutes younger than I am. I'm just saying you had more of an opportunity to eat frog legs than I ever yes, had. Yes, yes. Because my daddy had them every time we went down there, because... So he, he, go, went, he had a gig and fork and everything. Go down yes, there, gig a frog. Yes. Hey, okay, did you ever see him clean them or prep them? Uh, what does he do? Hold the frog and twist his little fucking legs off? That sounds cruel as fuck. I, I don't like, know. Buy him a wheelchair, send it back know. out to the fucking I mean, pond? Maybe, maybe. Grow some legs, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. But what I was going to tell you, the funny thing about this little canal thing. Slew. Canal <laughs> thing. Slew. That was right there beside our place, too. Um, it was all, like I said, all grown over with cattails and all this other stuff, right? And my stepmother cannot swim. Why she's always had lake lots with my dad and all this other stuff, I don't even know. But she That sounds can't. like a woman who knows how to keep her man happy. Yeah, so she can't swim, right? So she would go out there and pick, you know, and pull the cat- cattails out of the little, you know, so it wouldn't be so grown up and it didn't look so bad for her. Right? That's okay. what she did. She would be in water probably less than 12 inches. At, at the very most, 12 inches, she would go out there in her shoes. 12 inches, babe. Whatever. 12. <laughs> 12 inches. <laughs> so normally it was just right above her ankle, right? The water level right. would be right above her ankle. She always had a little outfit. <laughs> no, she did not. She would not go in that water at all without a lot, but nope. Really? Really. And I'm like, you in wow. ankle deep water, you are not going to drown. But Safety I guess she first. was. I guess she was afraid of. I mean, because you could slip, and I mean it's dirt. You know what I mean? So she could she's slip, like, and she's like what ninety five now. She's uh, ninety two. I mean, she could have been fifty years old back then. No, no. And she was worried about it. Oh man, she she yes. She did you I tell her instead of seen a, her ever. Ever get in the water without a life vest. Did you tell her she didn't need a life vest if she crawled under a desk? It would keep her safe. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, but we didn't have a desk. We might have had a desk there. Oh, man. Know. We had a lot of fun. Oh, my God. We had so much fun. I just remember lake. growing up, playing outside, doing whatever the fuck. All day. Doing what we want, right? Yeah. I, I mean, honestly. Yes. And, you know, we didn't worry about shit. No, no. Worried about getting home in time, so I didn't get in fucking trouble. That's it. That's but it. But when it came time, we got home from school. It was time to go play. Oh, yeah. You know? Yes. You know, the funny thing is, I, I'm i sure that I've had to do my homework coming home from school, but I, I want to say I just remember going right outside. I didn't do homework. I guess I That's did That's why I'm homework. in the predicament I'm in. I, I guess I did homework, or at least I did good enough at school. That I passed all my classes because I did end up graduating on time and everything. So 
Yeah, even yeah. after you had a kid. I know. We remember having this conversation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm All right. Well, it. hey, you know what? Thanks for taking that stroll down memory lane and teaching me a new word. I'm going to go say Slew. slew to everybody I fucking know. I, I swear to God, I'm going to look it up and I am going to show you that it actually is a word. Okay. Good for okay? you. All right. Hey, thanks for listening. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please email us at me and Mrs. Always Right at gmail.com. All complaints go Trevor the intern. Go to Trevor the intern. We'd like to thank roadcat media for producing this week's episode you can reach them at roadcatmedia at gmail.com for all your video and editing needs nice you can also find us on facebook instagram twitter and youtube it's not twitter no more oh, we talked about this x. last week oh yeah x and help I support mean, it's this the same right yeah no help support this podcast by becoming a member of patreon at Patreon.com slash me and Miss is always right, where you get pre and post show content right along with unedited episodes, become a premium tier, and get that handwritten thank you note that I've seen the cards for. I yes, I did buy them. Did yeah, you, see you that? bought them, but you hadn't done Shush, shit with them. You're you're just you're getting me in more trouble. Stop. <laughs> All right. I love you. I love you too. All right, you have a good day. All right. Bye. 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 Merle. <laughs> I love Burl. I love Burl.